Uh, today, I just wanted to talk on uh, New Orleans head rap known as the Tignon. Uh, in 1786, a law was passed uh, called uh, the Good Governance Edict uh, by Governor Miro during the Spanish era. The Tignon significance is that with this law, it made women a free, free people of color to cover their heads so they wouldn't show their locks off, uh, show their curly hair. And it also uh, required them to notice their Africanness uh, because the tenyo itself, the headdress itself, comes from West Africa, comes from Senegal. The group of uh, women in Senegal themselves called uh, the Senyades. Those headdress were called Masur. Um, and they still wear it today. Very significant in that culture of, of, of uh, Senegal, in a particular city called Saint Louis. And Saint Louis is a sister city of New Orleans. Uh, so much in common. The Tignon was placed upon these free women of color uh, because they were in direct competition with some of the, the French and the Spanish women that lived in the city. Uh, this, 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 this Creole culture was uh, a class and a caste system at the same time. Uh, that that head wrap was mandatory. Creole ancestors did. They um they owned it. They owned the tenyo. They made sure it was it was it was it was fly as we use as we say. You know, it looked good. It looked real good. Um, they gave it different patterns, different designs, different um uniqueness to it. Um, and and and, and, and to be honest, the tenyo is not a New Orleans thing. Because you see the same type of headdress in uh, Guadeloupe, uh, Martinique, um, Saint Domingue, Haiti, uh, and 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 honestly, you even see it in some places in France. It was meant not only for free women of color, but also the enslaved. They had to cover their hair, and so so you kind of make the correlation of accepting your Africanness. That was to like designate, uh huh. You can't hide your. Uh, you know, as we would say, your passe blanc, because down here a lot of Creole women you wouldn't know if they were African descent, or you wouldn't know if they were white or not. You know, passe blanc simply means passable white. They took a material called uh, madras from uh, India, and it's this uh, patterned soft cotton material. And a lot of times, the way you would design your um, your, your tenure, it kind of told you what, what your status was, or, or what your place in society was. So, so you see the tenure as a symbol of uh, royalty, uh, a symbol of fashion and design, because shortly after the, this edict was passed, um, it became the craze. It became a fashion statement. And <laughs> this is the craziest thing. Then you start seeing the white Creoles starting to wear it, and they are just... Smite, uh, smitten by it. There's a French word called chignon. And chignon simply means head bun. And it also could be like the, you know, the nape, the back of the neck, you know, so that's kind of where you get the, 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 the actual word derivative. You, you see in celebrated, uh, places and ceremonies, you see how highly they are decorated. Um, and a complete fashion statement. Please go check that out. Masseuse in Senegal. Um, one thing, you, one thing in New Orleans, there's a term, and, it, and it's a more casual tignon, same with the madre, and you know, you, like very casual, it's called a uh, moussoir. If, if certain social gatherings, your tignon will look a certain way, just looking completely beautiful. Um, and then other times, like you're just going to go wash clothes or whatever, or, whatever. Uh, 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 or even in places of servitude. It'll look a certain way. But I just wanted to share that with y'all uh, because a lot of stuff in New Orleans is directly related to uh, West Africa. And the Tenyo uh, is one significant piece of African retention in New Orleans. All right, family. Mahalo.